Okay, so this is the controller we've been building for the last three years. So I'm just gonna open the cabinet and then there's the touch screen. So if I touch it, there's the user interface. And this is obviously now to control the drying process of tobacco, but I mean, it can be used for anything else. Um, here's an actuator, humidity probe, temperature probe. So if I touch this probe, you'll see that stucco temperature going up there you can see now it's climbing um, if I touch the humidity probe you'll see that uh, humidity change there it goes up um, just to show you what's inside all right so there's the Arduino there motor controller power supply battery relays and then we've got a Raspberry Pi over here that does all the web stuff and the user interface. So, this is all open source based. Just to show you if I go to this manual control. Oh, I need to log in first. If I go to this manual control screen, I can now change the position of the actuator. So let's say I go to 45. Then we'll see this actuator start pushing out. Alright, so this controller works 100%, but now I want to show you what I've been been up to. Um, I'm just going to log off there. So everything in this cabinet that's in here, I've uh, converted to run on one chip. So there's just a little screen for me to see what's going on and I can use a a button, a rotary encoder to change the settings over there there's a relay board, the motor controller there's the actuator, humidity probe there's a temperature probe got a VSD here and 700 watt motor so just to show you there's the web interface uh, or the, the dashboard uh, coming from this little one chip I can, I can see the temperature is 20.88 so here's the probe so if I hold that you'll see the 28 20.88 is now going to go up there you can see 23.5 so that's the temperature I'm just showing the Wi-Fi signal there the VSD watts the VSD temperature that vent is basically this actuator I've got a serial line for debug information coming from that I've got a serial line talking to the motor controller and I've got a serial line talking to this mod bus so here's a manual control interface also coming from that chip so if I look at this relay board if I I'm just gonna show you if I touch then I switch the relays on and I can switch them off so from this web, so this is basically an iPad um, then if I scroll up and I go to position here and I grab that and let's say let's go to 55 and you see that actuator is pushing out and we can see over here the values until it gets to its target then I can start and stop this motor so if I say forward now we see this motor start turning and it's now set to run at 22 Hertz if I take this slider over here uh, on, fit fat fingers and I go to let's say 70 now we see that ramp up and you see that go to 70 okay, it's on 70 can okay, I take it to full blast and now it's singing 100 and you see 100 there and if we go here we see the frequency is 100 we can see the watts temperature um, of the VSD 
So if I now click on stop here, you see the BSD slowing down. And then once it's stopped, you'll see that that button will jump there. There it's stopped now. And it will then register that it's moved there. And we see there it's also zero and zero watts. So yeah, everything that was in this big box, I'm now able to do in one chip, which is basically that ESP32. Works like a charm. Um, yeah, the only thing that I still need to get working is the humidity probe. That is uh, that I need to do with IC, uh, IC squared, um, uh, where that uses the one wire bus protocol and it's not working on this chip. Just thought I'd show you what I've got going.